Syngenta Canada and CNM Seeds present the Wheat School on RealAgriculture.com. Hey, I'm here with John Gavlowski with Mafri. We are talking wheat midge. Now, John, not a huge, huge concern in Manitoba, but certainly still something to keep an eye on. But in other provinces, uh, certainly a much, much bigger risk. Uh, let's talk about the life cycle of the wheat midge, uh, where and when you're going to find it, and the correct spray time. Okay, so wheat midge, it overwinters as a larva in the soil, and we usually start seeing the adults somewhere around the beginning of July. Some years it's the very end of June, other years it's into July. This year we're a bit later than normal. Uh, we can forecast or predict when the midge should be starting to come out as adults. We use something called degree days to forecast that. And based on our degree day models, they should be coming out probably within the next few days as an adult midge. Now those adult midge, when they come out, they will be coming out of last year's wheat fields. They overwinter in last year's fields. As soon as they come out, they mate and the females will fly looking for this year's wheat. The males will stay back in last year's fields, primarily. The females will come into this year's wheat, and what the female is looking for are wheat heads that are just starting to come out, and the female will be laying eggs directly on the heads as the, uh, the wheat is coming out. So once wheat starts emerging from that flag leaf, that crop is susceptible to wheat midge. And it will stay susceptible until we start seeing anthers, the flowering part coming out of the wheat heads. At that point, what happens is the kernels chemically start changing. And they start producing a chemical called frulic acid. And wheat midge larvae do not like frulic acid. When they taste it, they stop feeding. So once you have anthers on 70-80% of the wheat heads, your crop is already resistant to wheat midge. So you have this vulnerable period from the time the wheat starts coming out until you start seeing anthers. That's the period when your wheat is susceptible and that's when you have to be out looking for the midge. Now if you are growing a wheat midge tolerant variety, what that means is that 90% of the wheat in the blend that you bought uh, has a gene in it that makes wheat, the wheat kernels produce frulic acid as soon as wheat midge feeds on them, whether or not there are anthers on the plant. So basically they've taken that resistance that normally happens later in the, the, the flowering stage and they've made the wheat plant able to do that as soon as the wheat midge starts feeding. And again, once frulic acid is produced, the wheat midge stop feeding and they starve to death after that. So you will still see wheat midge adults flying in a wheat midge tolerant field. They will still lay eggs. The eggs will hatch. The larvae just won't feed. They starve to death. Okay. And so, but those without a, a blend or now, when, if you're going to, if you reach economic threshold and you're going to spray, is there a certain time of day that you should be protecting the heads? Wheat midge, during the day, the, the females and the males are almost at ground level. They don't like the heat of the day, so they're staying low in the canopy. They come out at night to start laying eggs. Uh, as a general guideline, uh, roughly about an hour before sunset is when they'll start coming out. So if you're looking for midge, don't start scouting any earlier than about 8.30 you won't see anything. Just before sunset would be the ideal time to scout. That's when the midge are out flying around laying eggs and if you did need to control them that's the ideal timing as well. Late in the day, as late in the day as possible. And what is the economic th threshold for wheat midge? If you're doing visual counts, the way you would do the count is to focus on a group of say four or five heads to count the midge flying around those heads in the evening. Uh, if you're looking for number one grade wheat, one midge per eight or nine heads is probably a good threshold to be using. If you're not so much worried about grade, it's more yield that you're worried about, one midge per four to five heads is a good threshold. 